show. It's a busy day here at the State House. I'd like to thank my first guest for coming on, Representative Julie Casimiro. Thanks, Kate. Thanks for coming back. You've done this before. I have, and thank you for having me again. Well, I appreciate your taking the time to come because legislation was introduced today. Representative Aaron Ruggenberg and co-sponsors put this forth to be able to provide fentanyl strips. Now, this is to be able to detect fentanyl in drugs, which, as we know, is prevalent not just in Rhode Island, but across the country. Talk with us about this legislation and your decision to uh, sign on as a co-sponsor. Hey, I think it is a great piece of legislation. It basically is going to save lives. Um, since 2014, has been a huge spike in opioid deaths. Seventy percent of those deaths can be attributed to fentanyl. So if we can get people to stop using drugs and fentanyl in, we can actually save lives. I believe this piece of legislation can be worked out, I think, in agreement on both sides of the aisle. Now, is this to enable folks who might be, again, partaking in some sort of substance because they know from friends who have passed due to this mm -hmm. fentanyl that they can tell if they don't know where this drug has come from that there's fentanyl in it? Exactly. And if we can stop someone from using fentanyl, we need to do it. I, and it's a very inexpensive way of doing it. And, you know, if people like, well, you're enabling drug addicts, no, we're saving lives. And if we can save a life, or, I mean, a fentanyl strip, is, it costs about a dollar. If we can save a life, then it's completely worth it. So talk about a little bit the nuts and bolts. You know, where can folks, if this legislation were to be approved, what's, what's the thought about the rollout? It would be with um, organizations like Anchor Recovery okay. who might be wanting to help. Anyone who's address, addressing addiction and, you know, it's getting to people as they're starting the recovery process or even during the recovery pro process because relapsing happens at a, at a moment's notice. So had the big kickoff today. We'll have more information about that legislation again. This is for fentanyl strips. Do you know, has this been done in other states? It has been done in other states. I couldn't name them off the top of my head, but I think it's a really good legislation. It's a legislation, and I think uh, across both aisles we can get it done. Well, having you here, I know there's other legislation you want to talk about uh, pertaining to some maritime activity. Yes, there is. I, uh, my Marine Task Force bill, I introduced this bill last year, but because of its car tax, it really didn't go anywhere. I hope it's going somewhere this year. Basically, it gives a small amount of financial relief to those coastal communities who are protecting Narragansett Bay. Not all coastal communities protect Narragansett Bay. Some do it at different levels. Let's give them just a little bit of relief for training, the cost of training, the fuel involved in training, and a, a small amount of money to have a huge impact on these municipalities. So I'm hoping it's going to go through this year. Okay, more legislation to look for from Representative Julie Casimiro. But again, the fentanyl strip legislation introduced today. I appreciate your taking the time to Thank come you. here and talk with us. Thanks Thank so, much. so much. Thank you for having okay, me. Okay, we'll let you go, and Thank we'll be you. right back with our next guest here at the State House. Thank you.